All right, this is the um, Autism Podcast. I got Trent. How's it going, everybody? I'm Trent. Steven. What's up? What are you doing? I'm Steve. And uh, Chris. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Trent, first question for you. Okay. What is the biggest problem in America? You're starting off with a banger there, Cole. Um, Thanks. Really, I think the biggest problem in America right now, especially for teenagers and young adults, is groupthink. Too many people having the same opinions because <clears throat> of the lack of dissimilarity in media. Everybody mm-hmm. thinking alike. Okay, Stephen, what do you think? Actually, I got a different question for you, oh, Stephen. Sh- <laughs> okay. What do you not like about other countries? Back in the breadline, retard. <laughs> hey, bro, it's my question. I think they're just not as swag as us. They're honestly. not swag? Not uh, swag. Make sure you talk in the mic, they're Steven. Not swag. Come on. Christian? They're not swag. Oh, they're not swag? No. Why not? Def- define There's swag. There's not enough please. white people in. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, you're not white. The joke is that I'm brown. Okay. Okay, uh, Chris. Yes, sir. Do you think hunting should be uh, illegal? What do you say to people that think hunting should be illegal? Um, no, this is this is a really hard this is a loaded subject. question. Yeah, um, <laughs> this could go on for hours. I just think um, they should be shot. With what type of gun? Any type of gun. <laughs> What's your favorite type of gun? Anything that <laughs> shoots. <laughs> no, okay. people, um, I think they should experience hunting on a serious mm. note. I, I love hunting. Yeah. And I never eat what I kill. I just, I shoot it, I shoot it. <laughs> <and> I, <laughs> I, never, I never eat what I kill. I shoot it and I throw it back in the bushes. That's the way nature intended. But yeah, I love guns. You know, my father is a firearms instructor. Yes, sir. So, you know, weekends out on the range. Good times. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. 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 What do you think about poverty? Um, just, just get money, bro. The the cream rises to the top. That's all I do gotta you think, say. Do you think poverty is the biggest problem in America? I think um, it is. I mean, a probably, probably for problem. a lot of people, but not for me. Because <laughs> it wipe? it may not, not be white. solvable. I mean, I don't think specifically poverty, but a lot of the reasons that. Poverty is there. Like, just say you hate white people. What? Just say you hate non-white no, people. No, no, no. Like, I don't know, man. Okay. Like the fatherlessness Steven rates. Fucking hates white people. <laughs> I mean, you didn't have to say that, but <laughs> fatherlessness rates in the white community. <laughs> yeah, the whites. Okay. Steven. So I heard uh, that you were participating in. <clears throat> A challenge. Yeah? What challenge? Uh, the no fat challenge. Oh, yeah. Can yeah. you tell us about the struggles and the benefits? Bro, there's like no struggle. It's so easy. Just don't touch your balls. And then like, so there's like 15 people in the group, right? Like three or four have already left and it's only like day two. They're all addicted to porn. Not me, bro. I'm going to win. It is a problem. It's a big problem in America, especially you, for teenagers. Do you think anything could be addictive? Anything easily accessible? Maybe that I would. I can't. I, I wouldn't argue with that. Mm. Porn is a porn is a big problem, though. I, mean, I wrote a research essay about it last year. Me too. Porn when yeah, when when watching porn, your brain actually rewires the neurotransmitters, uh, and that's the like the phys- it physically changes your brain, and that's the reason. Why a lot of people who watch porn, like, they can't get off to the same porn. They have to keep getting weirder and weirder. Then they turn to pedophiles. Then they turn to pedophiles. That's correct. Okay, this is a serious question for each of you. Uh-oh. I've been serious. This is time. serious. Huh? This is serious. Um, what is one event in your life that changed how you think? <coughs> that changed how I think? Um, is there one event? Uh, I was born. I mean... I'm going to have to agree with Steven on that one. That's You're really fucked. Definitely getting born. Dude. And then, like, 
after having a near death experience, I became much more appreciative of everything around me because I'm like, I could be dead right now. That is true. I almost got ran over. I was riding a bike. Yeah. After almost dying, you know, everything's everything's a different perspective. That's when you feel most alive. When you're closest to death. Honestly. So you're an adrenaline junkie. Do you think you could turn into one of those? I mean, maybe. Not from drugs though. I don't like drugs. What do you What do you get your fix on? Swimming competition. Harassing people online. Fair. <laughs> Chris. Uh, was it being bored? Yeah, I'd say being <laughs> bored. That really just affects everything. It all started when I was born. <laughs> yeah. Dude, squid. Nobody right. asks to be born, dude. We're just kind of thrown into here. Kind of unfair. Right? Yeah, it is unfair. Very. Life is unfair, no? No, yes. You're correct. But. It's also. How we approach it determines our outcome. Yeah. If you go in thinking life is going to suck, it'll probably suck. But, like, if you go, it's going to suck, but I can do what I can to make it swag, it'll probably be a little swag, you know? Mm. Yeah. Make life swag. Make life swag. That's that's a good quote. I need to write that down. You'll clip that. <laughs> clip that. <laughs> it's just Twitch. <laughs> you're, like, you're doing all the time stamps for this, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got it. I clipped it. All right. So we're good. All right. People in the chat wanted me to clip it and stuff, so. Can I get a pog in the chat? Cole, I've got a question for you. Oh, shit. How does your experience vaping <laughs> and your experience not vaping, how do they compare? What were the problems you went through with your withdrawals? Oh, shit. And uh, why why the vape? What's up with it? Oh, the vape? Uh, do you want to hit Chris? Uh, yeah. Hit this question is also directed to Chris. Yeah, I'm going to add in after this. I'm going to take a couple Dude. fucking rips of this enjoy and then we'll continue. Dude, got um, vape. It looks like your second dick. It's kind of gay, bro. It, that's gay. How do you say? Is eating gay, Steven? Because I'm. Yeah. I've never eaten a banana or a hot dog I've or anything. Eaten. I've never eaten anything shaped like a penis. I don't drink straws. That's pretty straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's the bendy straws. Those are fire. What do you think about the Travis Scott burger? Dude, honestly, I'm going to get a date for at least. Oh, you need a date? I don't know the date. Uh, I don't know uh, either. Can oh, someone look that up? The wait, date? Wait, Jamie, wait, can you, wait, Jamie, Jamie, can you get <laughs> that up? Oh, oh, I, pull that I got up. you, boys. Uh, September 8th, the Travis so, Scott. Oh, shit. The meal that's like, will be dropped. That's like two days. You want to, to, to answer your question about the vape? Yeah. Because that was an interesting question. Wait, that's Tuesday. Uh, that's cool. Vaping, it's kind of like any... um Substance? Any addictive chemical. Basically, you do it once. Nicotine. And you like it because you get buzzed. Mm -hmm. And then you want to keep doing it, but the buzz goes away, and then you're addicted. But um, before, it was like I was living my life, basically. (laughs) And then after, um, it's if you use it, uh, shout out to Josh Kesselman, if you use it as a reward system... That's ideal. It's the way to go. But mm-hmm. you know, it's easily abusable. Like so, like if you if you like jacking off, you get an A on your math test, then you take a fat rip. Yeah, so yeah. That's that sounds reasonable. Before, after, and during, you yeah go. You Before or yeah, wake every up, time. wake yeah, up uh, in the middle waking of the night. Waking up and gotta take a yeah. take, take, take a rip. It's like waking back up sleep. right after you wake up and you hit it is ideal. <laughs> the best. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes I have to wake up like four or five times in a night to just take a ripper. I can't go to sleep. Uh, just wake up shaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wake up. Like, I, I thought I was hungry, but I wasn't. After doing <laughs> nicotine, I just get like urges. I start scratching. <laughs> I'm really, I mean, maybe, I don't know. The I, urges suck. I do Same. use meth, so it might be the meth. Mm-hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'm it gonna, might be perks. I'm going to draw a parallel from... Vaping addiction to pornography addiction. Come. Do people 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 get urges to fap when they're trying not to fap? For real. If you if you like eating, people get same. Urges to di- eat. You, I I think it's safe to say you could be addicted to anything, especially yeah. like fat people that are just addicted to eating. Yeah. Ob- yeah. Obesity is a large problem. And coping. Large. <laughs> and <laughs> and anything that's used as a coping mechanism. True. Mm. If it's a coping mechanism, then it's 
anything that any human enjoys can be addictive to them. True. Insightful. Yeah. Yeah. And then some can be good, like yeah. like working music, out. working out, yeah. work, like swimming, running. Well, not always working out. Yeah, working Something out can be overwork it out. If you're a yeah, workaholic, yeah. you can overwork yourself. But, there's yeah. just so many. But, but there's, general, there's a healthy balance for almost everything. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. Like fast food. Like the Travis Scott burger. Travis, Travis Scott burger. burger. You wouldn't want to eat Travis Scott five burger. of those in a day, but you could yeah. probably scrape by with two. Two? How big are they? Jamie, can you pull that up? Uh, <laughs> Jamie, pull that up on the screen. For my research, it is a quarter pound. Yeah, a quarter pound. With oh. like bacon. Yeah, with bacon. Sounds good. And like some sauce. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Travis I think. Scott burger. Loki sounds good. Is your Wi Fi cat dog? Oh, that is the weirdest Wi-Fi it's, name. Uh, Aris, do you want the Michael Jordan's Mick Aspen, Jordan, sir? I absolutely do. Okay. Hmm? We're gonna take a little um, intermission to get the Wi-Fi going. Piss break. <laughs> what should be our next topic? Cactus. Did you stop the thing? Nah, I'll just cut it out or okay, something. <laughs> our next topic is the one. This one. The one that's crushed out yeah. for whatever <laughs> fucking reason. <laughs> Cole, can you read that? <laughs> Out loud now. <laughs> Starts with a D. D7. D7. EFF3F108. 3F108. Thanks, Chris's Wi Fi. Yes. So we tackled addiction. That was early in the game, too. Good job. We should lead into a Afterlife. And how that takes over some musicians' lives. <laughs> Dude, then good transition to music. Yeah, we talk about music. We're we talk about Kanye. Steve, Steve. We're all heavily involved in music. What's your... Steven's I'm going to wait for it. Oh, band? What do you yeah, play? Yeah, yeah. Trombone. Oh, really? Trombone. Yeah. And he loves Kanye. Kanye easy on top, bro. I have a, some questions about trombone because I used to play it. He used to play it. How we I used to be in band. So I, you played alto sax. I did. Yeah. Uh, should, we, should we start recording? Again? <clears throat> yeah. Let me get the. Uh, that was a good segment. Three seven eight three seven nine. Okay, start at three eighty. Um. So next topic, we're gonna do. Uh, I think later we should talk about straight up. This is totally just derogatory and totally just. I want this to be offensive. Bitches. Okay, we can do bitches. <laughs> bitches. Yeah. Uh, Fuck bitches. What was it? Addictive musicians. How how addiction, um, can create interesting and uh, explosive characters in music. Yeah. Why do you think musicians uh do drugs? Mm, I th- I mean, cause like the lifestyle. It's part yeah. I, I, it's partly the lifestyle. It's part of the culture and the lifestyle, but also. When you think of things um, like acid and other mind-altering substances, and even weed, I think musicians derive a different sort of inspiration once they take yeah. some substances like that, and that that yeah. has become a part of the. Culture. It's a different way to look at something. Yes, but like also, I've heard about like musicians getting on stage, getting that rush of all those people cheering for you and stuff. And then big adrenaline rush. Yeah, yeah. and then you want to reach that again. So you yeah, use drugs mm. to get. See, there. yeah, when you sense. when you're on stage like that and you got a huge adrenaline rush and yeah. you get off and it's just quiet. Like yeah, you know, no one. It's just you're by yourself. It really bothers. Post you. show blues. Some people call it. Yeah, it I don't. Really... I mean, I personally don't have that, I but know. I know some people that do, and they're kind of weird. But I mean, I guess it's a real <laughs> thing. I yeah. guess it's a real thing. I mean, I guess I'm kind of chilling though. Yeah. When I get off. Like, yeah, we played, I played like a couple big places in my lifetime. Swag. Um, music. Music. I like music. Cool. We can do a little segment. Yeah. Okay. What's you, your question? You, you play guitar. You're going to Berkeley. You like what do you want to do? Uh, when I get out of Berkeley? Yeah, or? what do you want to do? And throughout Berkeley, what's what's the what's the end game here? Make connections. Make connections at Berkeley. That's yep. the big. That's the top priority for me. And then just major in something like performance because I really like to it. Do it and then production. Mm-hmm. Would you be interested in uh, doing session work? 
Mm-hmm. Or just straight up on stage, baby, every night. So that should work. Like, uh, I've had experience with session work, and you have too. Like when someone asks you to record something, it's yeah session work. Yeah. And I don't like it because uh, when I do something, uh, you're probably the same way. I don't know. But, like, I will – if someone gives me a deadline to do something, it might not reach that deadline. Yeah. Because I'll record something and then the next day not like it. Exactly. And then you just refine it over and over again. You never like it. So that's why I don't like session work. That's why I don't fuck with it. It's hard to give a deadline for something that's that's creative, you know? Yeah. It's like, some. what if I just don't have the inspiration one yeah, day? Yeah, exactly. And then, then I don't have it. Because Scott was trying to rush me into that looping thing. Mm-hmm. And I have to write, like, two more songs for it. And it's like, I mean, you can't rush it. Can't but I had to rush it anyways, and I wasn't happy with it. So, uh, what's, your, what's your favorite type of music? Oh, uh, the trombone question. Mm-hmm. So scales. Scales. I have a question about scales. <laughs> what about them? Do you know like so you know the major and minor? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What about like um, the blues scale? Like how do you like I've heard trombone players play like the blues scale, but like I don't understand it. Like do you like do you know like the notes and shit? No, like, I'm not that good at trombone. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, nah. Do you like it? Do you well, like trombone? Oh yeah, trombone's cool. Is it? Um, it's really cool. Do you write with it? What? Do you like write anything with it? Nah, like bro. I you just practice. Yeah, you don't take it too seriously. I take swim more seriously, but swim. Oh yeah, tr- trombone's real cool. Different, no buttons. Seriously. Yeah, it's weird. But you know, like the notes. Like if somebody said play an A, you could play an A, right? Oh yeah, easy. Well then, yeah. I mean, same. You could learn the scale. Just go like A C oh, yeah. D E. That's the first four notes of a blues pentatonic. You could play A C D and E in sequence, right? think so and blue scale blue scale baby blue scale uh christian is yes, there <laughs> music um has if you <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> um so you like rapping uh yes a little bit yeah a little <laughs> if I don't really know. Uh, question: Where is this? Do you like? What's your favorite project that you've ever rapped on? Okay, we could do or that. Or who's yeah. your favorite rapper? My favorite? favorite project, favorite rapper. Okay, project that I have worked on. Um, Vision. Yeah, I'd say Vision. That was fire. Or the new stuff that is coming out soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't say too much. <laughs> yeah, I, it's yeah. fire. It's fire. Snippet. Very fire. Favorite rapper. Favorite rapper. Um, I'll give you my top three. Top three. Okay. Top three. This is in no specific uh, number arrangement. Um, order. But I would say Kanye West. Yeah. Kanye. Order. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, Kanye West, Travis Scott, and I would have to say um, X. X or ASAP Rocky. X goes hard. X goes hard. X, X went hard. Rest in peace. He, yeah, he and went hard. He got bangers and some music. Yeah. Best of both worlds. Do a Hannah Montana. Yeah. Hannah Montana. Migos? Migos. Yeah, do you like Migos? I do. I like Migos. Migos. Yeah. yeah. They do go hard. They do. <laughs> the whole squad ready. Is he ready? Culture 3 is coming out. Uh. This week or next week, I believe. Dude, Taco Tuesday? Someone wants to fucking look that up. Oh, I'm it up right now. <laughs> cool. How about your favorite rappers? Four. Your top three rappers. Top three. Top three rappers. Kanye. Kanye. Of course. Is one of them. Okay. Um, I would say Travis Scott is also another one. Because I liked how he, he did reinvent. Auto tune. That's true. Like how people use auto tune. That's true. And then, um, who's that guy? Oh, yeah, Eminem. You like juice. Juice. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to also maybe juice. Oh, X. I think they're the same as yeah. you. 
Because X has X is number one for me actually. Like that's number one. Damn, he goes hard. Or he he won. He hard. was a good Sorry. singer. Yeah, he really was a good singer. He was a good off. rapper. Where, I, yeah, kind of <laughs> I haven't seen him in, like in the news lately. What's yeah, he been up to? Uh, uh, I don't fucking know. It like, just said where you hiding, buddy? Culture three twenty twenty. They don't have a. Uh, <laughs> someone told me that it was coming out soon. So you know, you never know. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm misinforming the public Damn. right now. Also, we listened to Juice and X before they died. We are not. Yeah, just I to make that, that clear. Before he died. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about Lil Peep? No. Little no, no Lil Peep? I mean, there's like, I guess any artist is good, and I'll be frank, I've never listened to Lil Peep. Maybe nah, one nah, or two nah, songs. Nah, uh, take out. What? Ski Mask is fire. Oh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, Ski Mask. Well, yeah. we like, like, hella people, but like. Full it's hard to pick three. Yeah. Yeah, Ski Mask is four, then. Because Ski Mask like, is. Those three we can listen to anywhere, anytime. Like, Ski, you gotta be hype. So that's he like is a, fire. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Steven. What about you? Oh. oh, me? Oh, yeah, you. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to rattle off a few, because it's, it's tough to put them yeah. in three unless yeah. it's categorized. Yeah. I'm gonna go Kanye for sure. Mm-hmm. Best in the game. Uh, Lil B. A lot of people don't like Lil B because uh, they say he yes it's amateur but it's amateur on purpose they don't understand the art behind Lil B like Lil B created the modern flow like the flow you hear in most rap songs today that is derived from Lil B like Lil Yachty everything Lil Yachty that's Lil B and you know how many how many SoundCloud rappers copy Lil Yachty right now yeah. everything like that uh, I'm gonna have to go with GZA for number three mm. classic. Classic Wu Tang member, classic GZA Liquid Swords banger. Uh, is it cool if I give a fourth? Yeah, sure. You can give. You can keep going. Who else? Who else can I say? Uh, Maxo Cream. I don't know if you all are familiar. Yes, uh, sir. H Town. Okay. Cardi. Car- okay. Maxo Cardi, Cream yes. and Cardi. They went hard on Fetty that song. Fetty on Fetty. Yeah, that's and Maxo is a beast too. Oh, yeah. Stephen, uh, favorite me? members. All right. Obviously, number one, Kanye West. Kanye. Okay. For obvious reasons. Number two, Young Thug. Thug, okay. one of the biggest trap solid, artists. Solid, solid. Dude, every trap artist right now, their flow came straight from Young Thug. Very influential. Yeah, wasn't he the guy who made like, he like started trap, like that beat, like the modern beat. Um, I wouldn't say trap, but like, like the that modern whole trap that whole beat. voice thing. Like yeah. all those high voices yeah. and stuff. That yeah, like, that's that's Thugger. That's Thugger, dude. Thugger on top. And then number three, probably Drake. He just Drake, yeah. Always on top. All solid. solid. Always on top. Oh, he's good. On this game. He's like too uh, into like media that people don't <clears throat> take him as serious. I yeah. think. Yeah. Dude. There's also, a there's what, a topic. His most recent project though, Scorpion. I it was not it was not that. Well, I mean, it had some bangers, rapper. but like. I don't know. He just, is okay. Is Kanye a genius? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Is Kanye like a certified genius? Yes. Yeah. I'm. I'm sure he is actually mentally ill though, but not in a way that could really affect his persona. Yeah. I feel. I feel like Kanye is an astute guy in real life. Obviously, none of us have ever met him. You can't say much about celebrities, but from what I've seen, Kanye is an astute guy. Kanye has generally acted the same way we see him in the media now as he did when he first started. It's just he's getting richer and richer and just as his Dude, fame grows. Also, he, he's now the highest paid male celebrity yeah. ever. Mm. Five billion dollars net worth. And his marriage to um, certain people is fucking him, I do believe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What Could, would you do if you had five billion dollars? Dude, I don't, I don't know. What's the first thing you'd buy? The first big purchase. first thing I would buy is an accountant to help me uh, yeah. manage my funds. An make accountant sure I don't and then a stupid. lawyer. Yeah, an accountant and a lawyer for yeah. sure. Buy an accountant. Um, slave. what do I want out of life if I had five billion dollars? I'd definitely buy a yacht. Yeah. I'd love to have a yacht, be Yachts able to go wherever. I'd get I a want. yacht, some fucking coke, some weed. I'd smoke with Josh Kesselman. Bunch of um, hookers. And yeah, tons Ooh. of fucking hookers. In the line of coke off of the hookers' ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Um. Trip to Europe, maybe. See, just see everything, everything that everybody has always wanted to see in their lifetime. Just go do it now, because I've got the money. Probably a bunch of cars. 
I really like yeah. cars. Drive if, drive a Lambo in Dubai. If y'all were a celebrity, how would you uh, approach fame and media? Mm. I would sh- I would try not to let it get to my head. I know yeah. it probably would somehow, but I'd participate. Kind of I'd participate in media, but I, like like we were talking about with Drake, I wouldn't go all in with media. I'd try to stay not as secluded as possible. But I'd try to stay out of drama. Yeah, Kawhi Leonard. but I think media is important as a celebrity. Yeah, I would act insane on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I'd lit- I would not give a fuck. I'd just do whatever yeah. I wanted. Get clout from them. People, people like that are off the grid. I have major respect for because I think it's hard for people to like. If you do something great and people want to recognize you for that, I think it'd be really difficult to not take a part in that. Not not letting it go to your head, but to. Like let yourself be recognized. Like anyone who uh, like not do any interviews or anything. Like they got musicians like that are just reclusive. Yeah, but they're genius. What um, if you were dying? <laughs> if you were like dying, uh, what would your last thought be? Damn religion. Yeah, I'd be like praying, praying to God, because I'm religious. Yeah, like let me into heaven, man, for real. <laughs> let me please, <laughs> please God. I am fucking around. <laughs> I am playing. Just let me in, dog. <laughs> but yeah, that would in in like in reality, it would be it would be religious let Christianity stuff. So that'd be like your last side. It'd probably be mine too. Yeah, yeah, that'd definitely be mine. Um, <laughs> that is, if you have the opportunity to think your last I thought, mean, yeah, you yeah. might not know. Well, well I mean, you're, you're knock on wood. Yeah, if you're like you're, you're last you're thought is, out and you're dying, like you're like, oh, fuck, yeah, I'm dying. yeah. Yeah, but yeah. if you get like shot in the head. But still, yeah, your, your no, last no, thought is your last thought. Like, yeah. Regardless of, like, yeah. if you're a vegetable, you still had a last thought. Yeah. yeah. I think. I mean, I've never been a vegetable, so I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe you could have like drifting, <laughs> intermittent thoughts. I don't know. It's probably possible. What if we're schizophrenic? Your last mm-hmm. thought. Just some random dude. <laughs> <laughs> this, your last thoughts are like a billion thoughts. Dude. I don't even know what to think. Okay, thoughts. This has been um, discussed on many Joe Rogan episodes. Thoughts? Shout out to Joe Rogan. Like um, where would y'all say thoughts come from? What are they? They're definitely. How are they? I think it's either as simple as they're just brain communications with uh, you know those things that we have in our brain. I'm not a fucking scientist. Or they could be some other world. <clears throat> dimension thing yeah like <laughs> it's crazy it's, to think how does someone <clears throat> develop personality that's yes, yeah. yeah I think it's more than just like chemicals in our brain though and it's yeah, more, and it's sure. also more than uh, your environment it's something there's something more because two twins that are raised exactly the same same parents they have all the same experiences but they could be vastly different people yeah yeah I think there's something inherently special uh, whether this be from creationism like I'm religious so I believe that there's something inherently unique about every person but uh, be that from religion or from just nature of being human just people are different and special it's crazy to think because like musicians or artists like paint painters musicians like architects whatever they have like if you watch them do anything they have like a gift, mm-hmm. but like how? Hmm. Why doesn't everybody have it? Also, yeah. So it's yeah. Like or at least some people it. gifted, like what they're destined to do. Yeah. So, like, if you said that to an atheist scientist, what would he even say? Like, there's no explanation. Dude, there's no explanation. I mean, there's what no you? there's no proof of God, but there's also no explanation. There's no proof of good explanation for for atheism either. Like. Like, yeah, it's all like how, how the hell the universe like expanded out of a speck of dust to create sentient life. Yeah. yeah. I don't I don't I don't I don't buy that, but I mean people don't buy religion either, so Yeah. I think but here's somebody explained this to me. You take the probability let's say um the universe was created by the Big Bang. The probability of an entire universe, think of how huge everything is, sentient life ever expanding. Yes, so the probability of that coming from a speck of dust is close to 0%. The probability of that just 
happening, close to 0%. But if God is real and God created the universe, that's an 100% probability. If you believe in God, that's 100%. But if you believe in, if, not if you believe in atheism, but if, if you're an atheist, then the probability of anything happening is closer to 0%. So statistically, I think that creationism is more possible. Yeah. Just a better chance. If you think about it, God, like the word God and the picture of like that you see or whatever, God is like, that's just a word to explain mm-hmm. it. That's true. It's, like, it's, it's crazy. It, like a construct for people across different cultures. But you, wait, how do we kill each other and torture each other for religion? Yeah. yeah. But why does every, almost every religion express like love for neighbors? Why do we, yeah. why do we get so hung up on uh, like Inquisition and forcing everybody to take on your certain branch, you know? Business. It, yeah. It Everything could be turns into a business. Like the Spanish Inquisition, like yeah. they're just conquistadors, man. They're just trying to get, get the bag, get the land. Yeah. Palestine and Israel? Do we even, I don't even want to talk about that. Are we talking about that now? <laughs> <laughs> People just want to be right. People just want to be right. People don't want to let others... Like, people don't... Like, with the Instagram page, like, whoever made it, Clemens Activism. I don't know who made it. But the Instagram page... Oh, should I'll go look that up? Yeah, at Clemens it, Activism. They're pretty funny. Yeah, they're funny. It's like a black pansexual guy. I don't know. Oh, uh, she. She, him, they, they, they. Sorry. Yes. They. Respect um, their pronouns. Their pronouns. If you look on that, like, I don't understand why people can't just accept others' People's opinions. Opinion. Like, how does that? It doesn't affect you at all. We're gonna be fucked if no one ever learns that. Like, we're literally gonna be fucked if you think about it. We nuke. We have nuked other places. We are yeah. already fucked. Yeah. We just get more yeah. fucked. I think that there's always going to be people with different opinions. And the sooner we all learn to just say, whatever, man, your opinion. So sometimes you're right. Sometimes I'm right. There's a great middle ground. The sooner we can all just love each other for real. They teach that in school, but no one does it. And it's so cliche to say everybody should just be nice. Everybody should love each other. But that's. That's the truth. That's the only way I want to live, you know? Yeah. That's the... Like, you have a different opinion than me, but we're still chilling. Yeah. And we can we can talk about things, but I don't want to live in a world where everybody hates each other's opinions so much that they don't even want to talk, you know? Which is what it's turning into. And that's, that is what it's turning into. Like I said, the first thing I said, like, people... Like, groups of people are always entrenched in the same opinion. I think that's 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 a problem. I remember Kanye said, like, uh, one of, like, the really smart things he said that I actually thought yeah. about was there's a history class, but there's not a future class. There's, like... He also said, I'm a sick true. F-word. I like the quick F-word. <laughs> Classic. Classic. But it's true. That's true. Because we're always going to be, like, uh swept up in what we did and they're gonna think it's right that's true just sucks you think they're um just with education and the way we're taught the reason there isn't a future class um it's because i mean obviously if we can think about it many people have thought about that um having classes such as that and you think it's part of just the government and education they don't want us to um, advance, <laughs> could yeah, be. It definitely like, could be. They it's don't not, teach us a lot of yeah. things. It's that not that need. it's not that they yeah, don't they want don't. us to succeed. They want us to succeed, but in the realm in their of uh, in their realm, they want us to go to college and work a nine to five for the rest of our lives. But they want, yeah, they want to benefit they, themselves. Yeah. Like, they don't want us to be forward thinking. They don't prepare us for the the real future. Hmm. We don't need. Just, I'm, I'll say sixty to seventy percent of what we're learning. We don't need it. They prepare at all. us for their future that they want us. To. I want to be prepared for my future. I mean, I I think I can do that myself. But for the for every student, not every student thinks like this. Not everybody's. Not every student has a sit down discussion yeah. about the future, which is important, and I think they should. Yeah, they're 
But I think that's a. That's but I a, think that's necessary. I think it's a problem within the school system. They're not. Do you think, I think it's necessary yeah. for there to be people like that? I think the school mm-hmm. system, bottom line, it's. I mean, it's obviously progress, and it will always progress. But mm-hmm. I don't think it's progressing fast enough, or will progress in our favor to I think something that we would want. I think they're trying to get like with math or science. They're trying to get people like at a young age interested in it, mm-hmm. so they can do it. Yeah. What if? Like, there will, I don't think there will, imagine a time when they have, like, um, like, an art class, like, they have art classes, mm-hmm. but as advanced as any math, like. Yeah, uh, ooh, that's, that's difficult, because there certainly are young people that could do well in an advanced art class, but. It's an elective, it's an elective and not, like, a core class. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well. It sucks. The problem with that, the problem with that is, to create art, you do need some sort of experience. I mean, this is just my definition of art. Or art, 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 music class, anything. But like, how many, how many teenagers could flourish in an advanced art class? Yeah, I mean, like like in high school. Without, yeah, we're like without tons of life experience. you, You, how much can you really create? Like advanced art that the really meaningful like there are really good artists in high school mm-hmm. and there's some that could but that would be like a select few out of like maybe every school maybe every district and there's also some people in art that so, that are bad yeah. yeah they don't care yeah um why do you think athletes are more like I guess like popular or whatever than kids in music mm-hmm. I mean I can. I don't want to keep talking like a ton, but I'll say something real quick. The majority of athletes that are actually popular, that's just like football. <laughs> that's basically yeah, yeah. just football. Yeah. But, and that's because everybody goes why to watch the game. People, that's because football is the most popular high school sport. Why do you think people respect them more? Because more than like arts? Yeah. Because it's physical. It's, 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 physical. it's very – you don't have to think to enjoy football. You don't have to. You don't have to be in a vulnerable place, yeah. and you don't have, you don't have to, to be open minded. You don't have to be open minded. You can watch the big guy hit the big. You can watch the big guy carry the football into the end zone, and it's awesome. I like. I, I like watching football, and I do sports, yeah. but where with like music and art, you have to think critically. It takes sometimes. It takes effort to, to appreciate music and art. Yeah, critical. I think there's more. Also, just like a culture of like high school, the cliche like oh, yeah. Yeah. sports. I think it's just that in and movies, like, yeah. and especially in Texas. Yeah, especially in Texas, like the oh, stadiums yeah. they high have, football. the programs for all different sports. They don't have those programs in the same amount of like financial investments they're gonna put into music yeah. or yeah. whatever. Million dollar yeah. stadiums. Allen High Schools. There's huge because of college team. Yeah. I'm gonna go take a piss. Someone ask some questions. Okay. Uh, we can we can we can stay near this subject. So, of what? Football. Of I don't know. Sports. School fucking sucks. Yeah. School school sucks basically. Um, the only good part of it is the social aspect. Kids, yeah. Kids, even, the, even then. Yeah. I feel some a, a majority of the kids that I've seen that didn't go to public school lack social skills. Yes, yeah. that's and yeah. like basic social skills like. Not not everybody that goes to public school is like super sociable and super socially yeah. aware, but they can like go go to McDonald's and order a a, a small fry. Yeah, but there are some or, kids I know. Or the Travis Scott burger. Yeah, but like at Coming church. Coming to a McDonald's near you, September. <laughs> at church, they got a lot of kids that are homeschooled there, and they dude, do not know how to interact with other people. I'd rather go to a private You get fucked. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Did you wash your hands? No, I didn't touch it, so we're good. Okay. Dude, this dude sits down. He doesn't touch it. You sit down? Hmm? You don't touch your schlong on your pee? It's not no, going it doesn't anywhere. touch. I guess it's not going anywhere. My piss <laughs> and, like, the dick don't touch. Are you oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Dude, if you think about it, though, your dick is cleaner than your hands. Cole is just... Yeah. Is it's just hiding in your He's pants? able-bodied, but he has a fucking catheter for fun. Catheter for <laughs> fun. Dude, sometimes... It's awful. If you think about it, it's horrible. Dude, also, yeah, yeah, I never... Awful. Imagine waking up... Knock on wood. Yeah. yeah I, I want to die before that. I have to wear a catheter. Mm. To, in, in all honesty, like, if I'm past the age of 65 and I have to wear a catheter, I just end it. 
I mean, that's me saying it now as a teenager, but it's, I just signed it. ALS. Yeah. So Jason like, Becker. Yeah, Jason Becker. So there's like minor forms of ALS and like heavy forms where it, you're crippled. Yeah. Your whole body. Uh, if you were, if you had the case of ALS, where you were like Jason Becker, look him up. Jason Becker. Um, would you just say kill me? I, mean, I would. It depends on if my I, point in life. Yeah. Like if I had lived a full life before that, and I'm happy with what I've done, then maybe. Jason Becker can still create. Jason Becker. He did, yeah. He's he's still dropping albums. Yeah, he is. He's dropping albums and they're phenomenal. He's a, he's an, but he's he's one of the most gifted musicians on the planet. Fastest. Yeah, so most of us aren't. He's a either. fast fuck. He can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for for he for was fast as fuck. Yeah. For anybody that doesn't know, Jason Becker is the Stephen Hawking of music. Mm. He can create. Uh, he communicates. Through his eyes, he has like a wheelchair almost thing, yeah. and he has a, a, a an alphabet board that he uses to communicate through, like looking at it with his. We're eyes. talking about like a great musician here, like yeah, this guy. He would have changed. He would, he would have been on top. He would have been on top of the world if uh, he didn't develop ALS. Bet like best shredder. To yeah, be honest. if he had, because he was big in the eighties. Yeah. Right. The late eighties, I think. Not so much the nineties. If he was out in the 90s and, like, improving and reinventing like he would have, mm -hmm. imagine. Yeah, he was one of the fastest shredders of all time, but he developed ALS and he slowly lost, lost motor control of his hands. It's a shame. Who's that guy, the worst guitar player ever? That one guy who has arthritis. What? And they made fun of him. You don't, <laughs> don't know him? No. <laughs> Let me look him up. All right. Lil Wayne. Lil, Lil, Lil Wayne. Wayne, yeah. Lil Wayne on guitar. Why do, everybody keeps hating on like that one clip of Lil Wayne playing guitar it's at that funny. show. I mean, it's funny. But I don't like, know why he tries. It's been so many years. <laughs> like, when are you going to stop using that, Stevie T? Yeah, Stevie oh, T. Steve. <laughs> when are you going to stop using that one clip, buddy? Yeah, uh, Richard Benson. Richard Benson? <laughs> you don't know him? you never seen him? No, dude. Oh, no, I've seen that He guy. has like I've the clip. Oh, dude, this guy shreds. It's uh, oh, the guy with the red guitar. He's like, I'm oh, the worst. I've seen but he that. shreds he's, hard. He goes so hard. Yeah, dude, that was so that, emotional. Oh, he's got. Oh. He's got that feel for real. You've seen it though, where he's just like. That. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But he has like everyone. Like, if he goes to a show, this is like another topic that I would ask. If okay, this guy Richard Benson, he goes to a show, and since he has arthritis, he can't like move his fingers fast or like can't like press down on the frets. Mm -hmm. And he'll go to a show, and they have to put up like a tarp, like because <laughs> people throw shit at him. Jesus! Like the whole show, like he did this for years. Every show he went to, people would, like throw food at him, and like he'd get like dirty as fuck, and. Would you, if you had, like, let's say, like, you, or trombone, or let's say you were, like, really passionate about trombone, and you wanted to do that, and you were performing, yeah, you got, like, some fucking thing in your elbow, yeah. where you couldn't do that, but you still wanted to do it. If you went to every show that you performed, and people threw, like, shit at you, <laughs> and shit on you, would you still do it? Like, uh, if you were so passionate about it. I don't know, man. I just like just quit. <laughs> yeah, I'd kill myself. Maybe just maybe just do it at home. Like overdose. What if you got arthritis? If I mean, there there are other things I could switch to. I mean, I could be passionate about a lot of things. Yeah, I am passionate yeah. about a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that um, brings us to a good topic. If I if I might change the subject a little bit right now, do you mind? <laughs> really? So. They got the guys, the guys that suck at guitar. So that guy's just got arthritis and he's just wailing on his guitar and it's bad. People still show up to his shows. Where do we draw the line for art that's inherently bad or experimental? Like minimalist oh. art, like you just draw a dot. You know how they have people, people hate on artists that draw yeah, minimal abstract. paintings. Abstract art. And the uh, music that is just like oh. experimental noise music. People just hate on it. They don't okay. understand. But where, where is the, where's the line? I think where the line draw? is like... Opinion. That's, that's, yeah, it's it is, each it's individual. Okay, yeah, yeah. For me, I think the line is like, it has to have some sort of trait of something before it, it has to change it in a way. Mm. It can't just be like something completely, totally new because then nobody's gonna like it. They're like, what the hell is this? But isn't what's what's new 
ultimately becomes yeah yeah eventually but it's it doesn't happen quick like especially if it's something brand new like like milk who thought of just like sucking that out of a cow like (laughs) what what are you doing bro that's nigga so weird, wanted some lie. milk and fucking now cookies. Every, now pretty much every house in America has milk in their fridge. Can I say Ooh. nigga on this podcast? Like, um, I, mean, I you're guess black. anything goes you're, you're black, at this point. So. Okay. Disclaimer, okay. he is black. Disclaimer, What's Chris the marker? is black. Oh, well. Well, uh, what's, <laughs> the, what's the last... Time. 45 minutes. What's the last piece of music you've heard that you thought was like revolutionary? Like this is going to... What's the last time you thought like this is going to change music and this is fire? Mm. Uh, Like... Recently, Probably the first yeah. time I listened to Days Before Rodeo by Travis Scott. The <laughs> Travis Scott? It wasn't the correct time period. It wasn't because like, I started listening to rap um, about four years ago. But when I heard that, I was like, holy shit. This has changed because it already had changed. It yeah. already came out. Yeah. yeah. Um, or any Kanye. Music yeah, in definitely. general or music a genre? Um, rock and rap. Rock um, or metal, you know what I mean. Frog, what anything. Intervals. Yeah, intervals, crazy. Uh, T T and G. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, T T and G, man, that was different. It's the first first time you listen, you're like, what? Yeah, and then you start to get it. Yeah, dude. After a beautiful. while, you start to get it, and then Once you it turns into crazy. Yeah. But intervals. Mm-hmm. That kind of like changed guitar and then Travis Scott with auto tune yeah yeah young thug with his high voice yeah uh like who did like ad libs like who Lil B I'm I'm, I'm telling you dude Lil B go, whoop he's, swag he started ad libs yeah <laughs> but he, he kinda did he kinda did he he started the modern ad lib I, I, I would wager that but yeah Steven the last piece of music you heard that thought that you thought was gonna revolutionize music um I wouldn't say it was going to, but I already did, like, mm-hmm. just Kanye, his, yeah, Kanye. my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Absolutely. It was just so different from what came out during that time period. He paid for a whole fucking orchestra. Yeah. Exactly. I, On I, Runaway. Yeah. yeah. I'd say I'd say Kanye definitely, too. And they got this, uh, for, for rock, Animals as Leaders, always mm, innovating, yeah. Tosin Avasi on guitar, mm. crazy inventive style, totally inventive band. Yeah. Never heard anything like it. Yeah. It's so surreal. And then for rap and just maybe maybe it would be indie music, they got this dude Hobo Johnson. And he's kinda I heard him. He's not I don't I don't know if I I don't even know if I like it that much or not. I, I, I enjoy it sometimes, but it's kinda cringy. But it's basically it's a new spin off of, of hip hop indie and emo alternative. Like I've never heard anything like it before. He has his own flow over unique music and it's, it's pretty polarizing like either people either hate it or like it but it, it's very fresh it's very I, inventive i don't think it's um like painting i don't think it's art in general if you don't have haters yeah i'd, I'd say that too if i owned a fucking mansion and like some painter wanted me to commission one of their pieces and it was literally a white canvas with like a shit colored dot <laughs> and it matched with the room and it was like expensive as fuck whatever however you want to value the, the art like in quotes and then I just have it just to say fuck it I think that's what most people do yeah yeah I yeah. mean how what percentage of like rich art investors actually understand every piece that they're buying yeah what it's, what, what it's hard. Of them are touched by the pieces like it buying. matches what like, they have they use it for financial yeah and this. they just say like fuck it but yeah that's the, this picture chris has got on the wall it's nice it's yeah. nice but did it change your life no, yeah no, no it's fucking yeah. stupid well, it just goes with the room I you've guess. got a picasso piece over there it, yeah piece. it's real in this uh, this house is like i don't know how much but that picasso piece is real so yeah wait what yeah, it's real. No, it's not. <laughs> I was no, say, it's what fucking the fuck? not. <laughs> no, it's, that's worth it's more than that. I feel dumb. Oh, <laughs> uh, is it Chris? No, it's not. <laughs> I don't think there's music recently. I think, especially big mainstream music. Yeah, I think because we're on a rap train right now. Kanye is like the only, like, really inventive rapper to yeah. me right now like he's the only one like pushing forward if dude. you compare kanye to any other artists and like 
really inventive, then it's in popular. It's, yeah, it's like Kanye. Everyone else is like, yeah, they're inventive or whatever, but it's not gonna. It's not changing the game. Yeah. Close. Hopefully, yeah. end up coming yeah. out. I think there's like Kanye. He did it, and then I think there's like um, I think there's like there's gotta be something like I think we're still on rap, like everyone, like kids. Yeah. And then when they grow up. When we grow up, there's going to be something else. So, like, 20, 30 years, there's going to be yeah. another thing. thing. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Cool. It just easy. takes time. When Do you think guitar is going to cycle back into popularity? Like, 80s, I 90s? hope. I, I think, think it, it is. I think it's cyclical. It is right now. It's starting yeah. to. It's oh, well, yeah, like, seeding. Like you said, intervals, uh, like, Rap, Chan. Yeah, yeah, and didn't rap. rap. Mike yeah. Dean. It's yeah. seeding. Yeah, it's Dean. seeding. You hear Juice guitar World, ones. Travis Scott. They're yeah, doing absolutely. guitar. Yeah, absolutely. I think. I think that's the seed. I think it's going to be interesting to see when I'm an adult uh, the spawn from this sort of inspiration. Because you know, in the '80s, you had shred- you, like '70s, '80s, you had neoclassical and you had shredding, and that spawned into modernish classic rock. But it's going to be interesting to see what kind of new styles from all this chopped up, sampled guitar. But people, kids are still going to be playing guitar because of that. But what are we going to see in the future from that? It's going to be crazy. crazy yeah, it's going to be... Like uh, Tim Tim Henson. Yeah. All the all the math rock dudes. Tim Henson, he is inventive. Yes. Yeah. He looked at it a different way. Mm-hmm. And it just goes to show you, guitar or any piano or anything, it's always... It's infinite. It's, it's going to be always in like inventive. Like there's mm-hmm. always going to be another way to look at it. You just got to you I don't you just got to it takes time. You got to master it first, I mm-hmm. think. Yeah. I think before anything you have to master it and know it. And then just looking at it different. I don't know how. You, you either have to master it or not know anything about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's either you master it or you don't know anyone, you never heard anyone play it. Yeah. And you just learn it. Imagine if you picked up guitar, you never heard anyone play it, and you just tried to learn it. Mm-hmm. That, that, you know, you uh, would create some really cool licks. You ever heard of the Shags? Uh-uh. Uh, well, it was this, this crazy dad. I don't know if I got the entire story correct, but I know this, this much of it is basically correct. Uh, there were these three girls, and their, uh, their dad like secluded them from society, and they had never really heard real music before, but the, the dad gave them instruments. And they recorded a super weird album. And it's like, it's music and it's, it's music, but nothing like you've ever heard before. Like if you, if it, if you thought it was actual musicians playing it, it would be like the most avant-garde, whatever. Like, I don't even know, like they have some weird understanding of rhythm though. Cause it's, they're all like in time with each other, but it's not something I can comprehend. Yeah. It's like, they have this song called my, my pal foot foot. It's like, it's just weird, but it's. They had never heard. It's like you don't know one, two, three, four. So, but like, they're doing. How are you like, gonna fucking? Like, doing, you're gonna do something else. They're just doing their thing. Yeah, it's crazy though. You should listen. You should listen to. Yeah, I'm going to. Frank Zappa like them. Frank Zappa. Oh, because yeah, he's crazy. He is crazy. I had a question, but I forgot it. We talk about talk about hunting. You have a favorite kill. Uh. Favorite trip. Experience. Probably this last, I haven't like, I hunt and fish a lot, but I don't have like, I haven't shot a lot of things or like caught a lot of shit, I guess. But I have like the experience to be like pretty above average, I guess I could nice. say. Um, I don't know. I was thinking something earlier and it was like with, uh, like if you had something and you were just like fucking just kill me. One thing, I don't, like, it might just be me that I've noticed, and I think other hunters have noticed this, but, like, before you shoot something, there's, like, I think it's just, like, the body language of an animal. It's weird, I've noticed. Like, the buck, I killed a buck last uh, season, and just the way it happened, like, the buck, he knew I was there, and, because I was spot and stock, which was, like, out in the open hunting, and he knew I was there and he looked at me and just his body language like he knew it was like I thought he knew I was gonna kill him like it was weird and like I've like with other deer hogs or anything I've shot I kind of wait I mean it is ethical just because you want their body language just so you get an ethical kill 
but um, there's something about like an animal they like kind of know right before yeah. I don't know that might just be instinct because they know they're being hunted or uh, yeah they it's weird it's, strange. it's odd because yeah. a gorilla gorilla is like <laughs> <laughs> Cole has harvested about 80 gorillas um, <laughs> no yeah. a gorilla is like genetically close to us yeah gorilla yeah. fetish but um Pause. like they learn they teach them sign language like they don't teach every gorilla sign language, mm-hmm. but they yeah. taught some, and like Harambe. <laughs> I <laughs> hope, I wish. Damn. But it was like one of them uh, talked about how like its mother died from poaching and all that stuff, and it knew what was going on. So just think, like maybe, like no one can prove that animals don't. Either. Yeah, it's weird. What if they do? They just... Same thing. Yeah, like what if they're sentient? Well, they birds know to what? migrate every winter. Animals yeah, know when to weird. use their instincts, when to do stuff. So I think some of that, some of that is all in Instinct. the same. I think some of those instincts are probably hand in hand. Yeah. But I'm no, I'm no biologist, so it's just weird. Yeah. Shit is weird. They just, like, don't I think there are probably more to animals than we think, though. Yeah. They have the capability to communicate themselves. Yeah. To express. What are you looking up, Cole? What are you looking up? Um. Hi. Don't say it out loud. Why are you fucking Big boob looking Latina. up porn? <laughs> 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 Big boob, hot, steamy sex. Naked women. Experts. What are you an expert on, Trent? Do you think you're an expert on anything? Um, I mean, I'm 17, so no. Do you huh. think you could? Yeah. Do you think you could be an expert on anything? What would you want to be an expert on? An expert? Um. Well, I mean, just to go like for the career path I'm doing, I could be an expert. I'd like to be an expert on sailing and deep sea shipping. Like you know, captains of cargo ships because that's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to do. Mm. Uh, I would love to be an expert of the seas. Mm. Um, Trent, I'll let just. I'm gonna say this under the corner of law. Um, I might. This might come up in future years. Uh, allegedly, could you ship certain <laughs> products for me um, across the world? Like you know, just. Chris, I'm gonna level with you. Okay. Uh, allegedly. I absolutely can do what you're asking. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank Steven, you. if you could be an expert on anything. You know, if I could or... What would you choose? Yeah. I don't know. Airplanes are pretty cool. Airplanes. Airplanes. Cool. Been thinking about, you know, doing that in college. Mm. Piloting? No. Building? Like engineer Aerospace. Oh, awesome. Ah. Awesome. Oof. What about you? Um... This is going to be like, oh, fuck you. But I guess life and living in general. Like that extra, would be yeah. a key. But, I mean, something I like, hunting, fishing, uh, whatever I do out of college, Smack. maybe law or just finance. Anything imagine with money or life. Like yeah, years. imagine having all the answers to life. Yeah. How many how many people are experts on life? How do you define that? Like, I think philosophers might be the closest. Morgan thing. Freeman. I don't trust like people that say they're life coaches and they take money. I don't. I don't trust them. Yeah, no. So if you need a life coach, you should probably just figure out your own problems. To be honest, <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't agree with that. People are just dumb. And not that I'm a genius, but you don't need a life coach, buddy. Just like get to work. You're your own life coach. Exactly. So if you're a shitty coach, you're gonna have a shitty life. Yeah. Deep. Yep. Yeah. I was thinking. I was driving over here today. And he wanted to kill himself on the highway. Yeah, very <laughs> bad. <laughs> <laughs> very <laughs> bad. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna disregard that. Swerve into the motorcycles. But I was thinking, like, we're driving on a road, and I was just thinking, I was like, there needs to be a better, there needs to be better transportation. There's already really good transportation. But what if there's like, what if they build a specific type of road for a specific type of personal vehicle that you have that you can buy that goes faster? It's better for the environment and it's safer they need to do that shit yo um trains there well yes trains bullet trains yeah they well yes and they're in the midst of building from but something Austin. personal that you have like a oh, car in the okay. garage uh, Ooh. oh like a what? Bugatti or something i mean i guess you could piece but like out. another road for it like they they have the tram that's going from austin to houston like the bullet train they have one of those well i think it's they're they're, they're building it right now Ooh. but from like yeah the whole thing but I think if you, that's a good if you, way. If you that's sectioned fine. that out, it, like if you could take take your little tram cart out onto the tram track, and then have a bullet you, 
that that but I mean I don't know <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I'm not a city planner I don't know how plausible that is but that that could be something you just Brand sectioned new. out the tram how do you even like how much money okay how would you let's say I wanted to really do that mm-hmm. like I was like I want to create it where do I even fucking start oh um, dude city I essay on bullet trains in America and that shit's so expensive. That's one of the reasons we haven't done it. How much power and money would you have to have? You'd probably, you'd probably need like, to be like... A, like a hundred billion dollars. Yeah, you'd probably need to be, know some probably people. Probably hundreds you would of need, billions of dollars. You would need to know yeah. people. Yeah. You, I don't think you could... Do, you couldn't just contact city planners and you couldn't just contact engineers. You couldn't hold just it. do it. You'd have to be in, in power and office. Or need, the lobbyist. You'd need to like contact aliens for that. <laughs> Facts, corporations. What do you think about the Pentagon? Is that the uh, ice cream truck? Yeah, there's an ice cream what? truck. We should go rob him. They okay. have one in this neighborhood? Yeah, yes. Aliens? Shit. We're in um, Compton, California <laughs> yeah. right now. So. Streaming at you straight from Compton, California. <laughs> Ayo. I forgot my question. Aliens in the Pentagon. Oh, yeah. Oh, so the Pentagon. What do you think about them releasing that UFO shit? Bro, I told everybody, bro. We got <laughs> aliens out here, bro. <laughs> Everyone right now. Yeah, that's just fucking weird. It like that's just it's either fake or like real. Null. Yeah, it's I I I don't know. It, it doesn't seem real, but at this point, who knows? Why would they? Why would why would the, something as serious as the Pentagon do it? I just think there's so much yeah, shit that has happened. Like, it's either like real or fake. It's just like either a distraction or just some experience. Yeah, everything or, they could release could yeah. be a distraction. Mm, it's true. Like. That, but the same thing goes for anything ever. How do we know anything is real? Like, yeah. how, like do I, how do I know you're real? As teenagers, this well, is a simulation. Like, so, as well as yeah. teenagers, like, why do we inherently trust? The, we we don't inherently trust well, we the government. Try- but why, we we by living in the United States and going to school and everything, We're by abiding by laws, we trust the government. So, but why do we pretend like we know anything about anything about how it actually works? Nobody does because it's comfortable. <laughs> Yeah, it is comfortable. It is comfortable. But, I mean, I guess because there's no way we could figure it out regardless. Yeah. It's so just, I'm chilling. Yeah. It, yeah. it sucks when uh, it sucks when you trust someone and then, like, in a split second, like, you lose their trust. Well, you, you lose trust in them or you lose their trust? You lose trust in them. Yeah. Like, as, like you were saying, teenagers trusting and shit, like, kids are so easily... Volatile. Yeah. Yeah. And it just sucks. Like, that's a bad feeling. Yeah, like, yeah. You're just like, what the fuck, man? Speaking of trust. Why did you fucking rape me? (laughs) Oh, fuck. Um, I mean, this could happen to us. There's a high probability it will happen to us. But, like, we're not going to know our kids, like, personality and what they do. Because we all do shit. That our parents don't know about yeah. or like yeah, if we does. yeah Everybody. so like that is fucked and very weird there's like there's like an old japanese saying or something you had like three personalities the one yeah. you show everybody the one you show yeah. your close people and one that's no, like, just you yeah 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 like we <laughs> we really don't know each other yeah one yeah. core yeah. the core yeah yeah but I, imagine is if it you possible to- no, I mean, if I think you the don't, closest would probably like, I'm like, if you don't give a fuck about yeah. anyone, what anyone thinks. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm a, I'm a really open guy. Like, I don't know, I'm sure there's something that I can't think of, but I don't know how much. Like, I don't have any like crazy dark whatever secrets. I mean, maybe I'm not interesting. Maybe I'm not like that interesting, but I really can't think of like. Imagine if you like told everyone your every thought. That would be kind of weird. Like she's, she's like, "Well, wow, that girl's really hot. I wish I was a millionaire." You're like, "How much is the steak?" Trent, <laughs> did you just fucking read my mind. <laughs> this nigga, he said steak too. Dude, dude, steak. Oh, steak. best restaurant you've ever eaten at. Um, shit. I already got mine. Okay, yeah, like I, one I meal know. or like overall. Um, both. Let's do. Let's do both. Um, both. Okay, overall. Like fast food or just uh, best, any, any best best meal best. you've ever had at, that's not home cooked or yeah brutal I don't know <laughs> how about what's your favorite type of food chicken chicken, chicken. wait no 
Yeah, I like chicken or fish. Chicken or fish. Good as What's well. the best meal you've had? Um, at a restaurant, like I guess quality was probably fucking J Prime. J Prime. Anyway. But yeah. like I don't know, I like all food. Like I don't give a fuck. It's food. Like as long as it's not shit. Like, all yeah. food is good. Yeah, well, I like cooking too. Really. So like, yeah. Shit. I mean, you could literally you could like eat shit and get nutrition from it, but that's not good. human centipede. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Thoughts on the movie? <laughs> <laughs> have you you have you seen that? No. Have, should, we should watch it. Have you? We should watch. You it. have, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I have. <laughs> they should see it. They need to Bro, see it. Bro, it's right? weird. No, but it is but, weird. Oh, really? <laughs> but but anybody that hasn't seen it needs to see it, right? Yeah, you feel weird after. You feel weird. It's got dirty. a weird vibe. It's creepy. Like not only is the story creepy, but the vibe. Yeah, they did it. It's creepy. They did it well. Good yeah. cinematography. Yeah, they capture okay. fucking. Oh. Like, Our favorite like movies. the lighting. Favorite okay. movies. Yeah. Let's go back to meal. My favorite meal ever. Oh, yeah. It's probably like. The grilled salmon I had at the Tower of Americas. Nice. Mm. Every bite I took, it was like, it was like coming. That's how, that's how, that's how good it felt, dude. I, I guess swear. anytime we're high and we eat food, oh. like that's just ideal. Never had it. When I'm high as fuck and I cook a steak or some <laughs> shit, like that is just good lord. Drugs. Well, yeah, drugs. Um, what was your question? Oh, well, we were going to talk about our favorite movies. Yeah, favorite, favorite movies. movies. Oh, for me, definitely V for Vendetta. Shit is fire. Yeah. Definitely V for Vendetta. Mm. Shit is fire. I've never seen it. It's, it's really good. It's about, like, this guy trying to do the Guy Fox thing where he takes over British Parliament. Mm. He takes it on all by himself, and then he gets the whole a lot of people behind him. Mm. Like Hitler. No. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being Hitler. What was... uh? Favorite movie? I mean, I'm really into horror. That's kind of so. Favorite movie? Kind of a um, flag. the generic answer, maybe The Shining. Mm-hmm. Um, Dracula, cool. the non-generic answer. There's a cool it's horror cool. flick called The Banshee Chapter. Scary Movie Five. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of good horror movies. Classic Blues is good. Um, oh, The Descent. If you want, okay. Anybody? Wait, is it the cave one? If anybody ever listens to this, if you ever have a girl over and you just want to watch, like, you think of a horror movie and you want to watch like a classic slasher, you just watch The Descent. Okay, that's what I think of when I think of horror movie. What was that one slasher? The uh, what was it called? Psycho. No. Um. Scream. The. I forgot. Dude, what like Halloween. Friday the 13th. Halloween. Dude, Halloween is good. The Freddy Hatcher. Kruger. Hatcher. Hatchet? I don't know. The, a guy with a hatchet? Hatcher Um, I don't know, dude. There's so many. What was it? What's your favorite movie? Um, I have a list. Like, yeah. I don't have a favorite movie. I have a long ass list. Okay, Cole right. has seen this Let's list. Hear it. Let's um, hear it. The it's entire old. list. Holy fuck. Yeah, dude. Wait, how many? All right. As of now. Oh, your, what's your, your deepest, song? darkest secret? All of your uh, 10 out of 10 t- movies. I don't even know at this point. I'm hiding behind so many layers of irony. Yeah, I, don't even, I don't even know myself, bro. Oh, yeah. That's scary. Going back to the trains real quick. Obama <laughs> wanted to do it. Like, high-speed bullet trains across America. The the figures for it were, like, $200 billion. So, he wanted to do it. Yeah. Um. Also, reduce our taxes and then put us in debt more. That's also, like... He was going to fuck us. So, we would have... <laughs> We would have cool trains, dude. Yeah, but like that's not the even trains. We also have debt. But transport, the trains, though. though, the trains are cool as fuck. Yeah. Though. They yeah, go like two hundred miles per hour. Bro. That would save. That would save some money afterwards. I mean, I don't know how long it would take to would take to reimburse time. yourself. Yeah, yeah but long time. oh yeah, also reimburse the government for the two hundred billion dollars. Yes. How much? Are, so we're in. What, uh, I go, go do the movies. Do the movies. Okay, movies. Oh, um, we'll list these off fast. Uh, Goodwill Hunting, Wolf oh, of okay. Wall Street, Act of Valor, Valor, um, Ferris Bueller. Blues Brothers, Stripes, War Dogs, Straight Outta Compton, the new mm-hmm. one, Scarface, Dunkirk, Jeremiah Johnson, that goes hard. Honestly, I that's probably my favorite movie. Um, American Gangster, Gladiator, Fight Club, Top Gun, Behind Enemy Lines, Interstellar, that was hard. Uh, Lone Survivor, Summer School, uh, Days and Confused. Fast Times at Ridgemont High, uh, Midnight in Paris, Lost in Translation, 
Spy Game, Wayne's World, oh. uh, Monty Python, all of them. Ooh. Uh, Pulp Fiction, Remember Me, uh, Reservoir Dogs, Meatballs, A River Runs Through It. That's also one of my favorite movies. Uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, one of my favorite movies. Uh, the Town, Den of Thieves, those are on Netflix. Den of Thieves. <laughs> um, City sl- uh, Slickers, uh, Public Enemy, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, or l- any fucking Clint Eastwood western. Uh, Donnie Brasco, Legend, Uncut Gems, Echo Sard. Yeah. Uh, the Devil's Advocate, All Star Wars. As above, so below. Yeah. <laughs> um, Final Destination 3. Oh. All Harry Potter, all The Godfather. Let's um, go. Lord of the Rings? All fucking, yeah, Lord of the Rings. All um, National Lampoons. Like mm. <laughs> Funny, classic. Um, Star Wars, all the Oceans movies. Mm. Step Brothers and <laughs> Step Lonesome Brothers. Dove is the last one. That's like a series. That's so. an extensive. I agree, though. I agree. That's a good list. Are you listing like every movie go. you've ever seen or like... I mean, <laughs> kind of, but those are all bangers. Like, I can yeah. watch any one of those over and over again. Mm. What was your question? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I got into this movie list. Oh, I have, um, do y'all ever watch, like, the same shit over and over again? Like, because it gives you inspiration or it just makes you feel more comfortable? Not anymore. What? I, I, I watched The Office two times. Uh. And after the, after are you this, talking about movies or videos? Like, or? Like, so, like if I have a shit ass day, or like I have bad anxiety, or like depression, or something happens, I'll watch like one of those movies, and it'll make me feel better. Cause like I daydream a lot, so I can imagine like I'll just imagine myself if I was in that movie or I lived That's the cool. lifestyle. I, yeah. I do that with music a lot. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, do that with yeah, music, music I can listen yeah. to stuff over, yeah. listen to the same oh, and I do over and over like 30 times yeah. but for other forms of media that are super time consuming I stop doing that cause uh I know, also don't do a lot of things so yeah, movies, people, yeah. People, people watch The Office like so many times in a row. I hate people that like The Office I hate people that make The Office their personality mm. but I watched it twice I watched the whole series twice and after the second time I was like how much time did I just waste uh, watching this nonsense? Dude, I hate people who make any sort of like media consumption their whole yeah. personality. Like, I'm like, I love YouTube. That's not a hobby. Yeah. Like, bro. Dumb B word. Yeah. For real. Or like, what's his? What's that dude's name? I don't think I should say his name. Say it. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Describe him. He left Clemens, or he left our district. He's kind of fat and brown. <laughs> <laughs> just say his name. I don't know. AJ. Oh yeah, yeah all he posts, yeah, he just watches just all he does movies. All he does is post about movies on his story, Shut like uh, six six out of ten. Six could have been better. Oh, and he collects Funko Pops. Oh, that's cool. What? No, it's not. No, it's, not. It's, not. <laughs> it's not. But uh, it's something. It's a it's a thing. I mean, imagine the, the average redditor. Imagine uh, how many people would be happy, more happy, if they had a like a hobby. A ho- dude, yes, like, everybody should have a hobby. Like, so many people don't have one, I mean, and then they're depressed, or they're bored all the time, they're tired. You need an outlet. If yeah, you have, an outlet. If you, if you have, like, the time, you make enough money to, like, have a weekend off of work, you should get a hobby. Mm. I think that's important. Very. Yeah. You should have something you're good at, too. Any, like, creative yeah. process that can take up time. Yeah. You need I some guess. way to... Like some people like anything. alcohol, oh. yeah, that's but that's they not destroy expressive. things, yeah. they <laughs> beat people. Like I mean, to alcohol. express their anger. What yeah. if you did whatever like, art, music? What if you Christmas instead of music. alcohol, like you just killed people mm. and you didn't consume the alcohol? Because alcohol is mm. awful. Like, but what if you colors. just killed people? Like Ted Bundy. Okay. Yeah, it wouldn't be as bad as alcohol. Yeah. That's an outlet <laughs> of uh, aggression. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I condemn it. I condemn all. Forms of violence. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. Alcohol. Okay, alcohol. I thought about this. Alcohol makes people, like, angry sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But instead of making me angry, it makes me, like, you know how weed, like, empathetic no. weed is known for, I guess, to create. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alcohol. Yeah. Weed doesn't really do that. Alcohol does that. Camaraderie. Last time. Yeah. Like, I don't know why, but alcohol is, like, the one drug it is a drug yeah. that uh makes me empathetic yeah nothing else last yeah. time i did alcohol like i don't 
there's something to be said about people that drink alcohol and they just get angry. There's something to be said about the core of yeah. who they are because they get yeah. like. What I don't understand how you get angry because when I'm on alcohol, I'm like yeah. the opposite. Dude, when like I was, was, the first time I got like on some actual alcohol, I was just like, "Why is all music good right now?" Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is. I was like, "All music is good," and I was yeah. just like. Let's go. Uh, Let's it's go. like anything, any substance, obviously, but like alcohol, especially just because like we know the most people who do it and we're teenagers, so everyone's going to drink, I guess. But like your personality is just like exemplified. So yeah. if you're fucked, then like you're, you're really going to be sped as shit. I was, <laughs> like, yeah. uh, I was reading a, an article from a psychologist and he said... Um, the reason why that happens is because your filter is just completely removed. Yeah, so whatever like whatever that. you're thinking, like maybe not deep down, but whatever is mid level in your mind, that's just coming out. And you don't really yeah, because you on alcohol, you don't go fuck yeah. about yeah. what people think or like, what you say. I, um, if you're a bad person, you're gonna get angry. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't drink. Like when I started <laughs> drinking, I like because I'm self aware about most things. What's wrong with you? Anyway, um, when I like, I'm like, I try to be self aware when I do things and like research things before I do them. Mm -hmm. So, like, when I started drinking, I was like, I'm gonna try and use this to better my like social skills and talking to people. Mm -hmm. It helps, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. it helps. Yeah. How uh, loosen up at a party, yeah. it helps. Yeah. I, I I really only drink like when my parents say it's cool because I like I love my parents yeah. they're really great so like like on Father's Day or something my dad and I will have some beers yeah. but uh that's chill but I, I think it, it is a good tool especially like yeah. for during college people that aren't oh, uh, yeah. aren't great socially like it's a great tool and then also it could just easy. fuck you yeah. it's easily abused that's yeah. anything yeah anything mm -hmm. that's Healthy a balance. good tool you can just fuck yourself with yeah. Favorite drink? Um, vodka. 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 Yeah, any hard liquor. Whoa. Yeah. Vodka. That is so like. crazy. <laughs> any I'm liquor because so it doesn't. I don't feel mm. bloated. Yeah. I don't feel bloated, and it's like I just get it down quick. I've been yeah. drinking beer like every day. I'd say six days out of a seven day week what? Um, for like a few weeks now oh, okay, no. and like so it for, for years i just uh, don't years. know i just like i don't know i just don't like i can drink way much more liquor than i can beer i just don't That's like crazy. it i don't know how people get used to it i don't know how you, you don't okay, like when i'm drinking no like i do you don't i don't like beer i don't like beer but i drink. i don't like beer i like i I drink cheap beer though, cause parties and whatever. Yeah, people but I mean, spy. teenagers. When I'm drink drinking beer. alcohol, when I'm like, obviously, when I'm hitting this or like weed, I guess, or, or like pills, mm -hmm. like I can see why people get addicted. But when I'm drinking, I'm like, how? Yeah. How are people yeah. actually a, like yeah. they need Just don't this? Do it. Yeah. <laughs> I think like it doesn't taste good. We're talking about like getting addicted to alcohol. Well, yeah. what about like really fruity? Yeah. Like, I think it's because wine like, or something. Really most fruity people. Wine. Most people who are addicted are like, I don't know. There's something really bad going on in their life. Oh, yes. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Bad childhood. They're just like in a bad yeah. place. Your childhood, hell important. Is important. Yeah. It determines your life if you want it to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can use it. Cause I use it, mine all the time. Yeah. But yeah. that's cause I like am lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Some I mean, people I'm, have really bad childhoods. I'm really lucky. And it, it is all, well, it's not all dependent on, like, what you make of it. Because some people are just not set up for success, and it's not their fault. But yeah. a lot of times, like, I had a really good childhood because I had really good parents. But my parents didn't. But uh, they bestowed upon me the blessing yeah. of a wonderful Blessed. upbringing. That's ideal. That's your responsibility as a parent. Yeah. If you I don't have kids if you're not going to give yeah. them, like, as good Holy. a childhood as possible, You're man. fucked in the head if you do that. Yeah, that's, that's so irresponsible. That's like the most irresponsible thing you could do. You're, you're, you're like, such yeah. a bad person if you do that. <laughs> that goes with like the um, like not knowing your kids like personality. Like this is a future question or like predicament we could have. Like we say now we won't have kids unless we're like financially stable or mm. whatever. We know we're gonna like have the best for them, but like we might just like pretty much every other parent just be like, oh, I have a kid now. Fuck it, like. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I mean, 
But we can do we can do what we can to offset that as yeah. much as possible. It sucks that people take it so lightly. Yeah, like yeah. Just, people it, just have sex. Even, yeah, you know, it was just, even they just, just get pregnant and then yeah. they're like, "What's wrong with you?" That's like, a human yeah. that did not human. ask for your shit. Like, sorry, sex makes babies, and that's that. That's why it's yeah. There. That's why it's there. Yeah. A lot of people just do it for pleasure, which sucks. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't. I'm not gonna knock anybody for doing. If it, you safe. if you're safe. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. mean, as safe as possible. To a certain extent. As but safe like, as people possible. People who do it like every a new night. dude every week. Yeah, we're this ridiculous. Like, bruh, come on. Yeah. I mean, uh-huh. just me, that's not. I'm not that's when you don't have a hobby and you have no fucking. Sex is not. I mean, I guess sex is a hobby, but it's not a when good hobby. When your hobby is it being is not a, a good hobby. Yeah. yeah. Like, dude, come on. Because some people revolve their life. Come around. on, me. <laughs> come on, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a little gay. No, shout out okay. to all like sex workers and just only yeah, fans people workers. like shout out they're just ideal steven steven's gonna spit some bars on you for that steven doesn't like sex work that's not real work oh yeah no yeah i, got I mean you. i don't I think know. it's I, don't, I wouldn't call it real work but i think you should have the freedom it's to do l- sex work. yeah you it's can literally, do whatever you want yeah it's literally just yeah. like oh i've like sent people shit in high school and like middle school so i'm going to continue that and try and make money a lot of them yeah. also being uh, groomed yeah yeah mm. i don't think it's yeah. not an ideal job i don't think it's a good it's job. it's also like with a culture now too like people are like oh this is fire i'm gonna make money and like be a bad yeah. bitch I think so. also yeah. also morally on. i don't think yeah. you should open up to that many people yeah, yeah. morally for yeah. sure that, yeah. but that's just me my no, definitely my can't thing, control them yeah. my thing is and it's hard to do because naturally we judge people all the time, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But if it makes you happy and it's not fucking detrimental to you or someone else, mm-hmm. yeah. do it. Yeah. No I matter mean, what yeah, it is. Some, that's, some girls, like, their lives are fine. They're happy and shit. And, like, guys do dumbass shit, too, like that. I mean. Yeah, no. Would, everyone is yeah. fucked to an I mean, extent. Yeah, everyone's fucked. The world is fucked. Fuck it. But we can still have fun. We can, mean, yeah. Yeah. we can still be. We can still be. We can still. Yeah. Republicans, good. you're fucked. Yeah. Democrats, you're fucked. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Everyone. You, you're fucked. fucked. Just agree. Pretty yeah. much. Agree. You're both sometimes right and sometimes wrong. We yeah. Should, cable news. We should you're just both name wrong. this podcast. Everything is fucked. <laughs> Everything is yeah, fucked. That's and it. just talk about Dude, fucked turn. shit and how we can make fucked shit fuck funner. Fuck Dude, okay. everything is funny. We ever most most reasonable people and most centrist compromise recognize yeah recognize that. The far left and the far right, sometimes wrong, sometimes right. But I think legally, anything you want to do, because I'm a, I'm a libertarian, anything you want to do that doesn't directly harm somebody else and isn't like egregiously wrong, like property damage or stealing or something, yeah, which because that, that harms somebody else, but something like, or like drunk driving, that, that, that has the potential to harm people. Anything you want to do that doesn't have that potential, you should be able to do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You should have the freedom. I think you, you should maximize yeah. freedom. You should be able to do whatever you want, basically. Yeah. And regardless, mm-hmm. like within reason, within reason, of course. Yeah, yeah we obviously, need, we need a government. It's easy. It's easy to tell if it's bad. Yeah. Yes. Well, like, I mean, I if think it's hurting someone else, maybe not easy to tell, but not always. It's easy to define, like porn, like. Well, you should have the as an adult. You should have yeah, the but yeah. to watch as porn. an adult. But most people who watch porn aren't adults. And that Arsenal. affects them mentally. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. That's like, true. Some things need to be regulated yeah. like that. But for, but like for for somebody who's eighteen and up as an adult, yeah, you yeah, should yeah. be able to. Yeah, yeah. if you're an adult, well, like there yeah. should be def, definitely more restrictions on Because like, yeah, yeah but like people, minor, you can't make those decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, not they're capable. Not, they're not mentally developed enough to make like because people get effed up on porn like teenagers. Then, like, they got some weird ass kids at school. They're effed oh. up on porn. Yeah, I mean like best score. Yeah, dude. Oh, imagine if you saw Holy. that. Like I, I've seen like saw I've that been middle on, school. I've been on. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I've been on that page before. But imagine if you saw that when you're like seven. Oh my that god! That and you horrible. were like, and someone said, "This is legit. Nightmares. Like this, <laughs> this is <laughs> real <laughs> shit. This is some good ass <laughs> shit. You need to watch like, this. Someone, <laughs> this actually happened to someone. This isn't a movie." You would be fucked in that. Hey, yo, like, like you're you're a freshman, and the senior comes comes up to you, and he's like, "Hey, yo, homie, check this shit check out, this dog." Number. And it's like somebody getting beheaded, and you're like an innocent ninth grader, and you're like, uh-huh. "Bro, Harris, that was Harris freshman year." Freaking yeah, Harris. there's just everyone knows that kid is just like uh, this kid. We were freshmen, and he did he did exactly what you just said. Yeah. <laughs> did he get all screwy? Him? Yeah. Or what, did he show somebody, or did he get shown? 
uh, like to us. Oh, like you showed us. Oh, yeah. He's a, like he, like scary yeah. characters. There's a lot of scary people. I feel bad. Yeah. There's a lot of scary people at school, and a lot of scary people like, you know, they're not gonna make it, and that's scary. Yeah. People like out of high school. How many? What percentage of people don't make it out of high school? I think like they live in the hometown and they work minimum wage. I think we need people like that. But well, yeah, all, all jobs are necessary. It sucks because yeah. yeah. people are born to be boring. Yeah, some people just yeah. some people aren't. I don't want to. I don't know how to say this without being like super rude. Some people just aren't born for greatness. Yeah. And not that not that I'm not it's, that I'm some like superstar. Yeah, no. yeah not like that we're I'm, born for it, but I'm, I think I'm, I realize it. I'm intelligent enough, and. Uh, I don't know, like, like, I do really well in school, so, like, I think I'll make it out of high school yeah. without a scratch. But it's also, it's, boring is opinionated. Subjective, yeah. 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 If what you if, love yeah. it, do it. That's true. Also, I don't want to hate on anybody. Definitely your life choices, because I've known females, like, two in particular. They One are. of them I was in a relationship with. Who? Which I should not have been in. Well, both of them, but, like, the first one. You know, right? Is she hot? No. <laughs> Who is it? Just say the name, dude. Nobody's gonna trend. Oh, oh yeah, girl. Her, her and Annie. Like, like, not a fan of her. Annie, who? Uh, I, I dated Annie. And, oh, Annie. And Cole, Cole got her number. Oh. She asked for my snap. Okay, dude, oh, like, I did it in like sixth grade. <laughs> like while we were in that, we, we started as like friends and stuff, and they just like started going crazy. They're like, not interesting. Like people. Annie just like stopped going to church, started drinking and doing drugs every weekend, and oh. I was like, "Hey, that's <sighs> bad for you." <laughs> Yeah. The like uh, what is it? Short term pleasures are not going to be good for you. That's very. And she was like, whatever, blah blah blah. And like just this summer, she's like, she started realizing, wow, I'm so depressed. I wonder why. Yeah. I've made terrible life choices. She um like she was talking at one point about like how she doesn't feel herself unless she's had sex recently. Yeah, and then she's always posting about like I have to feel buzzed to do something. That's the, oh. I think that's a that's that's a big problem. I, yeah, half of that like some people actually need that. Some people it's just like they just say that they're just bullshitting like oh that's yeah. cool. But like I don't know. Like I try obviously I'm not like perfect, but like I try to be self aware uh, yeah, when yeah. I'm doing I'll, like yeah. substances oh, like, and shit. But you're like you're fine. You're yeah like, like I, I'm not fine so enough. Fucked. You're a you're a smart yeah, guy. Yeah. Yeah. You're not like a retard on like, <laughs> popping pills like all the time. Yeah. yeah. So but, yeah. hedonistic life. I thought of this earlier. Would like I would be down to never drink again. Like I'm probably gonna stop after college. Hopefully, like I might drink on special occasions. But I would be fine with smoking. I mean, yeah. to a stoner, a modest amount of weed per day or week, and then doing like ecstasy. Or like any MDMA every three months under four times a year, I would be down for that. If you can uh, handle until, it, yeah. Until like ob- like this is going into college and like after college. If like you're still productive, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the only thing that matters. Like I wouldn't be doing it when I'm fucking like. I mean, maybe smoking, but like. Yeah. If you can smoke weed and still be productive and still have literally Josh Kesselman. Any yeah, person, some people can yeah. do that. Some yeah. people can do that. Some yeah. people cannot at all. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I mean, I don't do weed. I've never done weed. Not, I'm not gonna try it. Uh, just not. personal, personal choice. But I'd like maybe when I'm like forty. I drink alcohol on occasion, but I don't do any other substances. But I could, like, I'm fine with if I if somebody said, "Hey, you don't, you're not able to drink alcohol for the rest of your life." I'd be like, "Whatever." Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. thing. If you yeah. are smoking weed and you're lazy, you have to be like, "Okay, I need to stop." Yeah, yeah. yeah but like, oh, that sucks. But I, I'll be able to live. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't. I can't go to the bar with the with the homies and get get a little buzz. It sucks, but I'd be fine with that. Yeah. And, you know, some people it's a big part of their life. Yeah, Spend people think. Too. Yeah, yeah. people think short term instead yeah. of long term. Yeah. High school. That's what I'm nice. saying, bro. Yeah. Short term pleasure versus long term. Long term yeah. pressure have good career, family, kids, stuff like that. People don't think that. They're people just, people need to think that. People need yeah. to. They're just, high just get high, get higher, drunk right now. People yeah. are so dumb. Sex, come. Do your homework. And then after they're just like, what did I just do? Kill them post yeah. clarity. Right? Or get a, maybe not go to college, but get a, start Trans- a career. Trans- start a career, Trans- baby. Start a business. Yeah. Start a business. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Buy stocks. There needs to be more inventors, too. Yeah, people. We just Invent need, something. We just need ingenuitive people. Just find a problem, fix it. Yep. You don't even, like, people, people are like, oh, I can't, I can't start a business. I don't have a big idea. 
You don't need it. You don't. Idea. Why don't you just copy somebody else's business where yeah. they're not doing it great? Like, yeah. like a like a make it better. Like fix it. Like carpentry like, or like a yesterday, roofing. Yesterday yeah. I watched a, there's a movie called Founder about the, the dude yeah. founder of McDonald's. Yeah, yeah I, I saw that. He just like good movie. Stole McDonald's. Yeah, I mean, basically yeah. made it huge. Yeah, like if maybe it's not. With McDonald's, that was like an ingenious idea, and maybe it's not moral to like just take it like <laughs> yeah, that. But definitely like, not. For it's other not things, moral, but you made it better. Yeah, for, I mean, for businesses that for like business. that are for business, that business are already wise, widely done like, and can be improved in a certain area. Like, say, you start a roofing company in this area. Like, there's no roofers that come out here, and all these roofs roofs are torn up. Start a roofing company. There's a problem, and you fixed it. You don't have yeah. to think of something True. crazy new. Yeah, my dad does that. He's a roofer. Yeah, my cousin. Does you get that. hella money. Oh, yeah. yeah, you get a lot of money for your like roofer. Hail yeah. and stuff like, bank. we pass out flyers and stuff for him sometimes, stuff like that. So like, yeah, business cards. Yeah, whenever it storms, you, you can make the big bucks. Big bucks. That's something everyone like. If you invent something that everyone needs all the time, that's where it is. Facts. Like, cause my mom's in radio, but radio is dying. Mm-hmm. But if she was in some other business, like whatever other business, like roofing. Or something like that. Everyone's always gonna need that. Yeah, I do. Pick a pick a career that food. Somebody's always gonna food. need. Yeah, food. Yeah, I think that's housing. Important. Whatever. Yeah. Follow your dreams if you can. Something necessary as much as possible, but within that, pick something with longevity. Like like career wise, like I'm picking navigation on yeah. oceans, but. There's yeah, always 90, going to be international trade done yeah, by ninety percent. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Ninety percent of everything. Any product, ninety percent, is through ship. Yeah, like on the ocean. Yeah. So, and then there's always going to be international trade, and there's always going to be cruise ships. Basically, there basically will always be cruise ships. There's always going to be like drugs and money that are going to be need to be shipped. So, like mine, yeah. if I have any, allegedly, yeah, Try, what, we'll take care of that. What did you want to do, law? You said earlier. Uh, maybe yeah, I might do pre law. <laughs> I don't like. I don't want to go to college, but I'm mm-hmm. gonna do it anyways, just to have a career. Yeah. And like, I don't know. Even if I did become a fucking lawyer, I could retire eventually, or just still like I, fishing and hunting is probably like the number one thing. Like y'all with music or whatever. You could do a so, lighting guy. You know, yeah. game game warden. Yeah. Or uh, I could. like the parks and they have the major for park management, wildlife management, stuff like that. Yeah, I've thought about that. I could do that. Um, yeah, I don't. Know. I'll just take it as I go. Once I get into college, yeah. Yeah, my brother didn't want to go to college, but he's uh, he's halfway done with an accounting degree now. Just because that I mean, that makes money. And yeah. It's something that he doesn't hate. He wouldn't hate doing. Yeah. So, but I mean, you you show yourself as a person most of the time outside of work, unless your work is like your lifestyle. Yeah. And like you travel everywhere and all that, but like, the stuff you do on the weekends defines you more than like the job you perform every day. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it, that's why it's also important to have hobbies. Yeah. True, true, true. That is true. Bro, I feel like you don't wash your hands. <laughs> I will later. <laughs> oh, dude, your bathroom is not very restroom. It's, it's like like a beachy restroom. Yeah, this like house is house. fucking weird. There's like, it's there's like animals, and then like, like my room is like beach. Oh, the, the, yeah. the, Strange. The ammo on your fridge. Yeah, there's, yeah, <laughs> no, there's I lots of There's stuff. ammo in the closet. <laughs> Oh, but yeah. his is like out in the open on yeah. top of oh, the fridge. Yeah. Mine's just everywhere. Just yeah. built different. I've got <laughs> twelve big <inch> shells. <laughs> yep. What time is it? We've been going. I think. Yeah. Oh, well. I think. Yeah. We should probably wrap it up. Wait, that was that was good. Wrap it before you. Well, that was this long. Been ideal. <laughs> How long was it? Good thing we didn't even run out of anything to talk about. Yeah. That's awesome. We could still, I mean, we could I could, we, I could, we could sit go here till tomorrow. We could go all night. Yeah. <laughs> if I had food, if yeah. I took a nap, like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to go eat or something. Y'all want to go eat? Uh, I already ate. Um, yeah, I'm um, like I'll, I'll go eat with you. Right. I ate at like 2.30. Oh, but did I? No, no, no. I ate I at like 1.30. Like... What? <laughs> did I ask? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yo, can we film that thing real quick for the sleep documentary for me? Yeah. I just need you to go crazy, and I just need to say some words. Word. Okay, everyone's gonna see me like go crazy and shit. Crazy. Yeah, but it's like the whole thing is like a joke. Like you the the thing is a joke. Are we, are we still going? Okay, uh, that was the podcast. That was the podcast. Was, everybody, yeah. What's our name? Everything's, everyone's fucked. Everything, everything is fucked. Everything is fucked. But it can be cool. 
<laughs> but it can be fun and shave. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll uh, see you next time. See you next see episode, you listeners, valued participants. Love you. Bye.